let's walk through a business card application so you can see how easy it is to get approved for a business credit card even if you have a really tiny side hustle. If you're new here, hi, I'm Katie from Katie's Travel Tricks, and I'm here to help your family learn how to leverage credit card points so you can travel more for less money. So let's say you're ready to apply for one, you have a side hustle or an LLC, but you don't know which one to get. Well, you're gonna go to my website, and you're gonna go over to the best card offers page, where I promise you I'm putting the best offers, even if they don't have um, affiliate links. In this case, let's look down here. So here's my business card offers. I can go down to the bottom of the page. This is gonna show my favorite offers at the given time on the card. So I'm gonna click over to the Chase Inc. application. On this one, I have to click learn how to apply. It's gonna redirect me. This lets you know that kind of the breadcrumbs, the trail is there and I'm getting credit for your clicking on my link. From here, I'm gonna click to apply now because this is the offer that I'm looking at. That's gonna take me now, finally, to Chase's website. So now I'm here, I see my application. If you remember, first you should be looking at the offer details to make sure you qualify. And then I'm gonna click apply now. And I'm just gonna walk through step-by-step -step how you can fill this out for your business. The first section on this application from Chase is personal information. So you're actually not entering in information about your business at, fir at first. So under authorizing officer title, if you're a sole proprietor, you're probably going to click owner. That's what I click. You're gonna put your name, first, middle, and last, your birth date, Chase in this case asked for your mother's maiden name. Your social security number is gonna go here because these will be tied in some way where they are pulling your personal credit report before they issue you a business card. You're gonna go ahead and put your address in, your email address and your phone number. When you get down to total gross income, this is your total income. This isn't business income yet. This is like the total of your household income per year. Now we're down to business info. So for business legal structure, you're most likely going to be selecting sole proprietorship. If you have another business structure, you should know that because you probably had to pay to get that. Otherwise, you're clicking sole proprietorship. You're entering your business name. If you don't have a legal name, you can enter your first and last name, and that's fine. That's what I've done for a lot of different cards from different issuers. You can then change to have a different business name on the card if you choose to. And you would only have a doing business as name if you've, again, filed for that with the state. So generally, you're gonna click no here. For tax ID type, if you're a sole proprietor, you're probably going to be using your social security number. So you're gonna select social security number and enter it in there. If you have an EIN, you would enter that. You can get an EIN even as a sole proprietor for free on the IRS website. And a little hint is that banks like Chase will approve you for things Differently, they kind of count a business application per what you're putting on this line. So if you have an EIN, you could apply for one card typically, and then you could use your social security number with like a different business to apply for a different card. That's because I think Chase recognizes that some people have multiple small businesses. So that's a way that you can do that there. Then you're just entering, is your you know physical address the same as your personal address? Presumably it is if it's your own business selling on Facebook Marketplace. Number of employees, a lot of this you can just follow the directions. Business phone number for me is still the same as my regular phone number. You're gonna then use these fields. Again, fill these out as accurately as you can. Business establish date is just when you started doing it. Annual business revenue is how much income you bring in in a year. So if you sell about $200 of stuff on Facebook Marketplace a year. You can just put $200 there. I've seen people approved as low as 250. I haven't had anyone tell me that they've put less than 250, but recently I've had people tell me they put 250 on that line and then they were approved. Business category type and subtype, I think is tricky as a sole proprietor. The biggest advice I can give you is just do it the best that you can it's not often going to be a perfect category. Even for my business, Katie's Travel Tricks, 
I struggle to find the right category. So you're gonna look these over and you're just gonna do the one that fits best. This isn't as big of a deal as you might think that it is. Estimated monthly spend, this is not like a binding number that you're giving. I always estimate based on what I'm gonna be spending to do the sign up offer. So in this case, this card has a $6,000 spend in three months. So I'm gonna put that I'm gonna spend 2,000 a month, which I will for the first three months of the card. After that, I probably won't be doing that, but they just wanna see that you're gonna be spending on the card. And then typically you're not gonna be adding employee cards. You should scroll through just like any card and look at all of these, the fee information on any card that you're applying for. But keep in mind that fees should not matter to you because you should not be carrying a balance on your card. The Chase Inc. cash and unlimited cards are a little bit different because they do have a 0% APR for the first 12 months. So you could choose to put expenses on the card and use it as like a free loan to yourself, but really only do this if you have a specific plan and reason for paying that off. You're gonna wanna read through all this information just like with any application and click that you agree to it and click submit. And that is what is going to get your application processed. This video is part of my free course, which you can find at learn.katiestraveltricks.com. So hopefully you'll join me in there to learn even more.